Hello everybody, I'm just going to make a real quick video here about uh, some of the things we've done with the Zero League and some things that have changed and I think probably this is a bit better than me explaining them via text. So we're going to go with it and uh, hopefully that works a little better. So step one is most people have done that, but we have our own Discord channel now. So you get this Discord app. It's basically a comms app slash text app. And you can see what we've got set up here. We've got a general channel, which everyone has access to. Everyone can do more or less anything they want there. Teams have certain chats. Uh, I'm only showing you the inside of this one because, uh, well, frankly, there's not really anything in it. But, uh, yeah, the Project Velocity guys, which is Alex, Stefan, and Wes, they wanted their own channel. They've got their own channel. They can swap. Uh, set up ideas here. They can talk in the race. They have their own um, voice channel, which I'm now connected to. Uh, down there where they can talk during the race privately for themselves any of the other teams that want that just let me know and i'll create the same thing we have an announcements uh channel and i'm going to add a um steward's corner sort of deal like an office for jack to use i just need to get jack to get off his lazy butt and use discord but uh, so he'll have his own thing and you can report there, ask questions as needed, etc. So that'll be good as well. We also have general voice channel you can use, a <clears throat> race channel which is restricted to zero racers. So we can talk chat during the races. Um, I'm going to have to set up like two different uh, push to talks because I'm still going to be using TeamSpeak as well. Um, yeah, the idea has been that a lot of people want a lot of people want voice comments, but they seem to not want to use TeamSpeak. So we're also facilitating that in here. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, the voice channels do have force push to talk, so that does need to be mentioned. So if you don't have push to talk activated, it's not going to let you speak. And the reason for that is some people do find little noise in the background, etc., distracting, and that cleans it up quite a bit. So there is that. Um, that's about it for the Discord, I think. So if you're not on Discord, uh, please do. Uh, you can ask me for an invite, uh, or I'll post it also in the description of this video, and you can get it there. It's also, I believe, in the uh, Steam group. Uh, I think everyone knows about it, but we do also have the Steam group. Uh, you go to your groups, pull up Zero Racing, or is, I think it's Zero. I think it's Zero Grand Prix because of what we were at the start yeah i can't change that name unfortunately so yeah zero grand prix usual stuff here a little forum thing little events tab you can find the password here oh, that's another thing a lot of people ask me what's the password for the server tonight um it will be posted on steam it will be posted on discord it will be posted on the website so please go to one of those places there's ample ability to find the password now the thing that I'm really here to talk about is the race app. So it is a website which I will go to right now. So this is the race app website. When you go to it, you may look a little different because you're not logged in, but I am logged in. So what this website does is it allows for the creation of various communities that use racing simulators to do racing, obviously. Uh, you can see ESR is here. You can see the Aussie New Zealand racing guys are here. We have a couple of them racing with us as well. Don't know as much about some of these other groups. And there we are, Zero Racing Series. So click on there. And here you can see a little bit of a description of us. Uh, if anyone wants to flare this up, give, give us a little bit of a better intro, um, please do. Uh, I'm not really skilled at writing, so there's that. You can also see recent events for the series and upcoming events, like we have the Saturday race at Portimao tonight. So I'm gonna skip over this one because this one's not quite properly done. It was the first one we did, so it's a little messed up, but we're gonna go into the Portimao races for Wednesday. Now what you can see here is that you can see an event page. You can see the results of the race. Now, those who are not registered show up like this. Um, Kind of by process of elimination, we can kind of figure out who everybody is. This is Martin. This is Rick. This is... Alex. I think it's Alex Hayes. 
and this is uh, Mike Mark, and this is this is the second race from Wednesday, I do believe. Yeah, because yeah, Grant's on the podium, so you can get a lot. You can get a lap log here. You can see who was the fastest. You can see where you were fast, where you were slow. Um, you can narrow it down to clean laps, to invalid laps, to best laps. There you can see everyone's best lap. The best lap of the race was... Don't know who that was. That's probably Martin. Um, the purple being the best. The greens being just personal bests. Um, interestingly enough, these are not any color. Hmm. You'd think that that would be a... That would be a thing. Interesting. So yeah, my best lap was a 146.055, which I think was the... Oh no, it was not the slowest. That was a... My fastest lap was faster than Wes's lap. Wes did not have himself a very good race. I also got mine very late in the race, lap 9. I think I had a lot of invalid ones. Um, you can also see theoretical bests. You can see the impacts that everyone had. You can see any cuts. So you can get basically a deeper understanding of how the race went. And kind of monitor yourself, get a better feeling for yourself. There's also a race grid position chart, progression of gaps as well. You can check out. And more statistics. I haven't really gotten into all of this necessarily. Oh, yeah. We have average lap time, best lap time, reference lap time, deviation, how many laps you actually completed, incidents you had, and uh, how many invalid laps you had. Let's see. How did I do? Oh, I had three invalid laps out of nine. That's actually better than I thought I did. I had a rough race, too. And uh, you can also see the scoring here um, for the race. And you can see that 25 points for first place, 20, 16, 13, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 1. This gives us a lot of stats that we priorly couldn't have because, frankly, I didn't really have the time to work it out. I, I can read log files, but I don't have anything that would allow me to get down this deep in such a short amount of time because with this one, I can absolutely get very deep in. Like this, this is incredibly easy to set up. Bam, bam, bam. So I encourage everyone to sign up here. You will appear correctly, and so on. So, and if we go to the actual Wednesday, Wednesday series, you can pull up any of the events that we've had, and you can also see a schedule here, which also helps. Uh, I'm getting messaged. <laughs> um, you can see the scoring, you can see the standings. Now the standings are not quite accurate. There are some people missing. Uh, for example, there are there are four drivers missing because we have 15 listed here and we have had 19 contest races. Additionally, as stated, we have some guys with inaccurate scores. This, for example, is Martin. I do know that, but he has more than 50 points because we're not including his prior ones because once, he's, once he actually registers, I'm just gonna have to do it again, so I'm not doing it the first time. So over time, this will become the uh, a place for standings. I will still maintain the website, but this will be up right away, right after the race is no problem. Like, easily done. And then you can see in scoring detail, you can have a breakdown of positions. Uh, do not pay attention to some of the point numbers, because since we didn't have Bathurst, and since we didn't have Sepang included, I've had to do kind of a, a correction in a nutshell. Like, Jason was not there on Wednesday, but he had 71 points prior, had to add 71 points. So, in theory, in theory, we'll be probably accurate, but mid-Ohio, there's still some people that need corrections from Indy. It depends on how fast people sign up, but uh, we will see. And uh, if you go to the booking here, you can log register yourself. You can see Wes is registered. I'm registered. Jason's registered. Darcy's registered. Alessio, Richard, Grant, and Stefan. And uh, as time goes on, it's going to get better, I would hope. Why is Dean not here? I could have sworn Dean was here. Uh, scoring detail. Yeah, he shows up. I guess I, he's he's lo he's on the website, but he hasn't actually booked himself into the league. I think is what that is. Let's see. Does he show up as a guest here? Uh, race. No, he does not. Weird. But he's not booked. Anyways, I'll figure that out later. So we're still still a bit of a work in progress. But uh, yeah. This is going to be very helpful. Please get around to doing this. I'm going to link everyone to this video 
uh, today before the race. Well, everyone that's on, I should qualify that and uh, give you all the links and stuff. And uh, if you have any questions still, let me know. But I think this is a pretty, this is actually a pretty self-explanatory uh, process. It's actually really well designed. Credit to the race app people because I think they did a fantastic job with this website and this tool. And, uh, and uh, I think it helps uh, racing managers everywhere. So that's all I got for now. See you on the track tonight at Portimao. And uh, I'm hoping for a better race than Wednesday. Wednesday was not, not my cleanest race. So let's roll with that.